the heart that we've made is composed of a poroelastic silicone, which is a lot like a memory foam mattress uh, in how it feels. But what we can do is pattern it using additive manufacturing uh, to make a machine that uh, pumps like a heart. And we made it quickly, easily, and we can even tailor it to a patient's uh, particular heart. We use this material because uh, it has the potential to um, get FDA approval. Um, because it is highly stretchable. You can stretch it by over 600% percent its initial length. Um, we can change the pores inside of it uh, how we want, so we can get more or less connectivity across the material for our fluid to pass through it. I um, mean, it's also very soft, so we don't have to apply a lot of pressure to get fluid to move through the pores. We decided to use a heart as an example because it's a very complex shape um, and it's a machine that everybody's familiar with. So by making a machine that looks like a heart, that pumps like a heart, uh, we thought it would demonstrate our material's capability the best. And it turns out people actually are very interested in using it as a heart replacement or even an assistant, assistant machine to a heart. What we use is a 3D printer to print a mold uh, that we can use over and over and over again and then we cast our material into this mold using a cheap, low-cost process uh, that we can do over and over again to iterate our designs. So we can go through many different shapes um, and styles to try to arrive at an optimal uh, geometry for a pump. We actually are working with um, medical doctors and people who are familiar with how to turn these devices into useful medical devices. Um, and so we're working with uh, researchers down at Wild Cornell Medicine to guide us through this process.